I guess. Or winning or so just just comment then sort of what's been the message from or you even coach the staff as far as what they anticipate from, from your role and what you've been saying up there. Uh spacing the floor, shooting, being aggressive, talking, sharing the ball, making plays. So hitting open guy. So kind of a little bit of everything. And how do you this kind of describe this first week of camp? Uh, it sounds like you agree with the positive across the board as far as just the fitness and aggression of it. Yeah, it's been great. Um, I think for everybody, for myself, um, guys are in shape, guys are going hard. We're, we're challenging each other to be better, get better. Um, and I think we're, we're, we're starting to mesh as the days go on better as a team, better as units. Well, you talked about the versatility this roster has, guys play multiple positions. Have you worked at all at the five in, in this week and a half or so camp? Yeah, um, you know, I've had to play a couple couple reps at the five. Um, of course, we do we'll go through drills. You know, four and five are kind of interchangeable. So um, I've been doing it since I've gotten in the league, so it's pretty easy for me to be able to play both spots. That's what I was going to ask. Have you played some small ball five with, uh, with your previous teams? Yeah, um, I did it in Denver. I did it in Utah. In San Antonio, so every team I've, I've played some some games, some halves at five, so it's uh, pretty easy for me. Um, I wouldn't say there's been a big adjustment. Um, it's pretty easy for me to you know conform and, and fit into a team. I think so. Uh, Everything that Coach Casey is, is teaching is things that I've learned on past teams and stuff like that. Other coaches are bringing, you know, it's everything that throughout my six years, um, you know, I've, I've heard coaches say before and I've seen done. You feel more like a bet on the team is given, I think, two thirds of the roster is younger than 23. Yeah, you know, it, it's crazy to think I'm 25 and I'm one of the older guys on the team. So it's, uh, it's um, pretty rare, but you know, it's my seventh year and a lot of these guys are in their first, second, or third year. So you know, I'm, I guess I, I guess I'm considered one of the vets. So, is it still easy to relate to 19 and 20 year olds at 25? Just given how I mean, you've been you've been on your own for many years now. Is it? I don't know. The age difference isn't that big, but the life experience, I guess, is. Is it, is it any different? Um, it's easy to you know kind of you know mesh with them because what they're going through is something I've already been through, and you know. Um, their experiences are experiences that I've had before. Um, the only thing they get me with now is kind of the music they listen to. So that's pretty much the only thing. So. Right. Yeah. Seems like all the players on the team talking to six nine can uh, shoot for the first little bit of a great shooter in college, really, and then something like this through and then moving on. Kind of how is that translated in, in, in practice and kind of the, the spacing that it needs a lot easier, especially for the guards? Yeah, I think, um, you know, us having bigs that can stretch the floor helps the guards, you know, with open some lanes. Um, and it causes defenses, you know, kind of to collapse a little bit because they're not used to guarding, you know, bigs that can shoot like, you know, Kelly and uh, Luca can shoot as well. So it, it's, it makes it easier for our guards to make plays, I think. I don't hear much about this anymore, but you, you used to say that there used to be the perception that the West and the East can play different styles of basketball, you spent your career in, in the Western Conference. Is it? Is that still a thing in your mind, or is it pretty much has that changed because of the, the way everybody pretty much uses pick and roll and three point shooting? Now? Um, I think it's changed just because, like you said, everybody's using pick and roll, three point shooting. You know, a lot. Every team wants threes or two or layups. So, um, um, and just with the trades that have happened, you know, the, a lot of guys from the West have come over to the East, so it's kind of equaled out. I think. And, and I know with being in the West, you you know. Games in Toronto, you would have only played his teams once a year. But do you know, can you tell anything about a coach by playing against his teams? Is there any common thing you recall from the Toronto teams that have carried over to the Detroit teams? Um, just like their, their depth and their you know willingness to make the better play. And then, of course, I've played with the guys in the past that have played for Coach Casey, so I've asked about it, you know, him with them. And it's all been, always been good reviews about how he coaches in his style, things like that. So. You know, he has a good track record with players that, you know, get along and care about.